Unraveling the phrase, I made a hash of it, a guide to English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we make learning English fun and easy. Today, we're diving into a common yet intriguing English phrase, I made a hash of it. Have you ever heard someone say this and wondered what it means? Well, you're in the right place. Let's explore this idiom together, understand its meaning, and see how you can use it in your daily conversations. When someone says, I made a hash of it, they are admitting to a situation where they tried to do something but ended up messing it up or failing quite badly. It's a way of acknowledging that their attempt was unsuccessful and resulted in a confusing or jumbled outcome. This phrase is quite humble and is often used to express self-criticism or regret over how something was handled. The term, hash, originally comes from the French word, hacker, which means to chop or to hack. Historically, a hash has been a dish made by chopping up meat and mixing it with other ingredients. Over time, the phrase, making a hash of something, came to symbolize putting things together in a haphazard or disorganized manner, much like the culinary dish, leading to a messy or unsatisfactory outcome. Now, let's see how you can incorporate, I made a hash of it, into your English conversations. Here are a few examples. 1. After a poor presentation, I really made a hash of that presentation, didn't I? I need to prepare more thoroughly next time. 2. Following a DIY project gone wrong. I tried fixing the leaking tap myself, but I made a hash of it. We'll need to call a plumber. 3. Discussing a cooking attempt. I attempted to bake a cake for the first time and made a complete hash of it. It was barely edible. Understanding synonyms and related phrases can broaden your vocabulary. Here are a few expressions that convey a similar meaning to, I made a hash of it. I botched it. I messed it up. I bungled it. Each of these phrases can be used in situations where you want to admit a mistake or a poorly executed attempt at something. And there you have it. You now understand what it means to make a hash of something and how to use it in everyday conversations. Remember, making mistakes is a natural part of learning and growth, and expressing these experiences in English can be a great way to connect with others and share your journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English language tips. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.